Well, here's one that I probably wouldn't do a video about normally. I've made a mention of it once or twice in the last five or six years here in the channel. But what we're going to look at here is this video that was found or captured by this group of kids that are out on their motorcycles on the island of Indonesia. Now they're going down trails and you can tell they're well worked trails. People go through all the time. There's a city not too far from here, not well, a village, if you will, not far from here. And there's a few villages in a stretch that lead to a, what we would consider a city. But in this video, preemptive to it, what I'm going to show you or talk about and then show you is that what we're going to see here is a hobbit type of creature that's apparently been found. This is one evidence of it. And so it's something that, well, you know, like a land of the lost, we sometimes dream of this place or a secluded island or a Shangri-La type of area that was trapped where you might find something that still exists, dinosaurs from the dinosaur age or something that, you know, had that land of the lost effect. It was the romantic idea of naturalists and those great Caucasian scientists that brought us a lot of this. Searching the world out, going to its edges and degrees and going and hitting an island and carving their way through it back and forth trying to find remnants of anything animals and creatures quite often losing their lives in the process due to something they didn't even know a lot of times it would have been a mosquito bite and a few days later seemed to start getting sick couldn't recover gone But in that process and the romantic search for it, we always had that idea of, well, you can find it in the King Kong, the movie, in the original concept, where there was this island like a land of the lost and giant creatures still on it, where there would have been a giant snake or this, that, and the other. Still some dinosaurs or a giant ape, which they made out to just be a giant gorilla, kind of but probably not too far away from something like Gigantopithecus. And we found now that there's Titanoboa. And so if we were to take some of the creatures that used to exist at one time, we could actually make something that you would go, well, that's kind of like it. So in that, in the recent findings that we have, that even humanity had ancient hominids reach into a much more modern time than people gave credit to. It was an anomaly that something that was a Homo erectus form would still be alive at 165 or 145,000 years whenever they found it, and that graphically overlapped modern humans that they had already found not too far from the same area showing that well there was modern humans and so on and it had overlapped but now we know that even modern humans go back 315,000 years at Jebel Erud site so the overlap was extreme but just recently they've decided to go back through the dating and things like that on these skulls and just see what they had and how they could make connections and what suddenly started coming out are papers they're revealing that a homo erectus form was living on all the way until the younger dryas at the end of the last ice age and then there were changes and somehow some of these forms lived all the way until like 4400 bc in sub-saharan africa but other places we found similar showings of which Australian Aborigines and their variations. Recently we talked about how there's that Flores Hobbit that used to live. And this might actually be one form of it. 
but strangely, whenever they show the recreations of the Flores Hobbit, they almost want to, well, do that thing they do where they try to mix a monkey and a man together, especially in facial form, nasal structure, and so on. And so they end up with something that looks like a mankey. But it's only about three foot tall. But it's also kind of hairy. And what we're fixing to look at right here actually isn't hairy at all. In fact, it seems to be naked. Carrying a stick with it and so on. And what you'll see in this, so I don't have to cut it apart like I always do, but I will stop at certain points, is the first blue rider that's in the front of this, whenever he encounters this, he ditches his bike and by pulling in on his front brakes, trying to stop himself, and of course in this wet environment here, going down this trail, it washes out his front tire and he just ditches it right in front of this creature and it runs off. It gets too bright at one point, you can hardly see, and then you can see it run up and take the corner, and then one of the cycle riders goes after it. Let's get into this, and we'll talk more on it in a moment. This is again in the island Indonesia. Youngsters on some pretty cool dirt bikes hooked up with GoPros. So here they are, and there's the blue rider, and all of a sudden he ditches it, and you can see this creature right there, running off. And he freaks out as he looks back and forth, makes sure that guy's all right, but he goes after it on his motorcycle. You can see it turning the corner up there, and there's a good picture of it right there. He's got a stick in his hand, and it's naked. And his body is really about the color of dirt, matching in quite well. It doesn't look, you know, it, it's hard to get a view of this. I've got it on the best resolution that can be pulled out, and I'm giving it to you in like 4K off of that, but there's no reason to be. I think the best it is pulling up is 400. But it doesn't look like he's wiped himself down with mud in any way. It looks like he's about that color. And you think that these people, if they were out in the open all of this time, that's the reason a lot of the islanders and people of sub-Saharan Africa and tropical people around the world have a naturally darker toned skin from doing so. But this guy is much mild or mid-tone. And he's either wearing something wrapped around his butt area that's a little bit lighter or naturally he's that way and naked so there's a slight tanning going on if you will his shorter somewhat hair and it, in this point right here we're looking at it actually looks to be lightish hair with some darkening into it and something that we would think of as brown to blonde which is strange and what he does right when he hears this motorcycle come around right behind him here going it's sounding like a chainsaw I mean, you've got to, it, so what happens in uh, th this guy, here we got finger of God, he takes and just ditches it right off into the brush, and because he's shorter than the brush, poof, he's just gone. And the cycle rider gets up and preens and tries to look over, but that's about it. Uh, it's one view of it. So here, looking at this rest of it, and, and there's a few different views. All these three of these guys had GoPros on. So here it is again, coming around the corner, and boom, he just ditches it in the side. If y'all can catch that there, there he is. And he looks like he's going to run, and he goes to the other side. Now, right whenever Blue Rider ditched it, and the others came up, so this was Third Rider watching the first two from the first and original footage. Here's a picture of him, and you can see he has a stick. You can tell that his butt area is lighter. To me, it looks like he does have hair, but it's all pulled back, perhaps, in a knot behind his head because you can see this little tong sticking off of it. You know? But 
you can tell this guy over here is really freaking out on it. And even though he just ditched it, he can't keep his eyes off of it. Now, there's conjecture and hearsay that goes along with this. But this guy, man, was said to have been not a kid at all. It looked like it was an elder. had a funny face to it, the guy's described, because he looked back at him twice, one showing his teeth right when... That's whenever he slammed into the ground. And there were some footprints that they saw right there. And they're all wearing shoes and stuff, right? But there's footprints that are there. But they're almost the size of their feet of these guys. I don't think any of them are six foot. They're, if they're locals in any way. And well, they're youngsters and so on too. So they're not reaching that point in any way. But this guy's maybe barely taller than the handlebars standing up and running and you can see they're wearing these helmets with his visors and all this stuff on and this weird clothing and they're making sounds that sound like giant chainsaws and a group of them coming at him almost like I don't know magically moving using these creatures that almost sound like giant bees can you imagine the thoughts running through the native or whatever this is that we're seeing in the video from his point of view? What he would be thinking. If he had never seen people before, but if he's on this trail and you can tell it's made from cart cars driving down it and so on. This is not in the middle of nowhere. So he, he, you would think that he's seen people before. Perhaps seen cars and things like that going on. What are the thoughts going through this guy's mind? When all of a sudden these stormtrooper looking guys show up here with these helmets on and stuff. Chasing him down in these giant bees. Or chainsaw creatures. You know, what, what the hell is he thinking? pretty weird concept to think of it from that point of view you know you, sometimes you can stop yourself and start thinking from other points of view but here he still has that stick with him and he's taking and turning and glancing back and it's three frames here that's going across and yeah it's kind of blurry but the one in the middle is the best one out of it. And you can see that he's turning back to the left, looking back, glancing at that guy that's coming around the corner. And what it looked like he was going to do was kind of go into the right. And as soon as he sees the guy coming there, he just veers and goes into the left, right into the brush. You can see it lighter around his butt, so it looks like he has, if there's a loincloth going on, it's flapping and moving because he's shooking it. But it almost looked like his head is almost shaved here, but again, you can almost see that knot on it. And in this picture, although the one on the left kind of looks like it's lighter haired, this looks definitely dark haired. So give me your thoughts down below and you can go back and look through this a few times and I'm going to let this go and go to the next little part and they're going to show it again from the other guy's point of view and then the good point of view again or the best of the three. As it comes around the corner trying to get him and he just zip. So quite amazing. So there was this idea that they might have found this lost tribesman idea. Because they have this idea of this tribe that used to live there. Are there stories of this tribe that used to live there? There are little people. Right? And these little people live in the forest and you never get to see them. You might get glimpses of them. You're not supposed to mess with them. It's bad juju if you do kind of deal. 
almost like a leprechaun or things like that kind of concept here when he comes around the corner here that's right whenever he's ditching it off into the end you can see again it's real light around his butt area there and also you can kind of make out the stick it's going on but he just foop and he's into the woods there or into the brush the other guy's point of view again here or a reverse view on it and that's right whenever he's diving off into the brush you can see the stick kind of trailing behind it one guy tried to do some enhancement on it and he says that it's got a tail and I don't think that that's true at all because when you watch it in fullness you don't ever see anything that looks like a tail but if you were to catch it frame by frame you might be able to find something that you would believe that look like that but it's hard to believe too that there's this three foot tall hominid still existing and normally I don't go down roads like this especially on the channel I don't want to be this speculation concept but whenever we look at what we found in the last year and a half in correlation and connections that we made it makes for the possibility that there is someone like this that still exists the problem that I've always had with it for a long time is that once I figured out that they had the volcanic events there in Krakatoa again this is Sumatra so it's right next to Bali and Jakarta and so on and Krakatoa in the east of Eden there it is and whenever that happened it wiped out just about anything that could have happened in that area and there's been the archaeology done on that endeavor somewhat to realize well what was there before was there anything there before that's different than anything else and it was gone at that point but in realizing the devastation that it created it'd be hard to believe that downwind or close at all in any islands there could have been a people like this to subsist right always thought so just doesn't make sense that something that's that archaic or something could exist and then with that effect of the volcanic events you'd say I no I, I, yeah, I, I you wouldn't give it much but at the same time here we'll go from the first of it again in the same time it looks like what we have here and it's what these guys reported they saw especially the blue guy and the green guy they saw it better than the other guy but they all saw it better than the GoPro shows us and he just looks around and says y'all all right and he takes off after it it's too bright in the sun right there but you can see it right here right there trying to make it around the corner and he does so but the bike's right on the trail of him now the guy back there supposedly said he showed his teeth to him it looked kind of manky-ish in some way and ran on down again the footprints so hobbits had big feet huh the footprints were not looking like they were just tiny or anything but they were smaller than theirs but not by much whereas it is much smaller about the size of maybe a five-year-old kid but there it is so again normally I wouldn't do one on this but I just got to thinking I saw well maybe I saw a series of videos and it got me to thinking certain things you know how that works on people too but it got me to thinking because we know that there was homo erectus forms living until a modern time in fact some people are hybrids of that still showing in their genetics some form of ghost hominid australoids islanders and so on and we're in that islander area 
could we be looking at something like that? Again, we go back to the land of the lost and this idea that there might be a gigantopithecus living on an island like that. But if we understand the archaeological terms, there's something known as insular dwarfism. This is where you can get trapped in a certain area and be not in the best of circumstances and you, along with any other creatures that are there, will dwarf out somehow and become much smaller. This is where we get pygmy elephants from and so on. But also that happened to humanity and it's where we get the pygmy type people from. There's some in Central Africa that are pinched upon right now. You gotta read up on them, just wiki it. But there's another population in the islands here that they called Negritos, but they aren't really kin to black people in any way. But they're also a pygmy type people. This isn't that. In fact, they're a little smaller. And in the descriptions, they aren't saying that it looks like a pygmy. Because pygmies almost have that midgeted type form to them in somewhat. This one looks normal they say and it doesn't like a lanky kid or anything like that the guy was able to look the thing in the eyes twice whereas the other guy only saw it look back at him kind of once but in that they said that it was an adult it wasn't even like yeah so hmm it's older than them but much smaller fast as hell too and apparently knows his way around the forest you know there could be problems lurking in that bush but of course he wanted to ditch it away from these guys real fast and so he just instantly about two frames after this he takes a sharp left and is never seen again I like watching those shows like Josh Gates where he's gone and seen some of these mythological things and tried to find it. And of course, there's never anything really, really found. If there was before the show came out, they'd already come out and gone, look, we found a dinosaur or so on. There's been a few little things happening. Woo. So the show went on. This is showing something that might relate to the idea that there is another hominid type pygmy that's still existing in Sumatra and in the islands here. But I don't know where he comes from and there has to be a group of them in a village and so on and there's villages near there. You could talk to the locals and see if they've ever seen anything like this. And after the fact, they all know about this happening. It's become a big old thing. Anytime you get some guys coming into there from not that area, of course, it gets some things stirred up. <clears throat> Makes you wonder when cargo cults happen, if something like that caused what became mythologies from before. But then again, there's still some realities in this. And we know a lot of these Islander people are short anyhow, and they're five foot, and a lot of Orientals, until just this last few generations in reality are really starting to become inches taller. On average. But this is something that dwarfs that by far. And again, the footprints, which I can't get any shot of a foot that looks bigger than normal or anything or see anything that looks like it's a big footed little bitty guy here. But supposedly the footprints were about the size of, but a little bit shorter than theirs. It wasn't something small. To them, they seemed like that he had almost normal sized feet, but wasn't normal sized body. A hobbit in effect. Anyhow. Just thought I'd do an extra one on this after thinking through thoughts about that. I've got another one coming up where it goes along the same line. 
I question doing these, but uh, once you get to around 2,000 videos, you're going to start to have things like this show up in your repertoire. I normally wouldn't, but then again, with all the things we found recently, it made it show up a little bit higher on the list. It's becoming a book that got reopened again. We're having to reopen a lot of old books, it seems. Peace.